Hi, everybody. Okay, so welcome back to Skipper Sandra, and I'm your Skipper Sandra. How you doing today? I am so excited to see you guys. So today we're gonna have an unboxing. Yes, unboxings. I love it, and I've been sitting on this stuff for you have no idea how long because I didn't want to open it until I saw it with you guys. And so I'm very, 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 very excited. Yes, I did cut the tape, I have to warn you. I did cut the tape and some of them I didn't kind of get good into because it was a little difficult, but I really wanted to get into things. So with that said, let's get into it. First thing we're gonna get an unboxing for is Jimmy Bean. So Jimmy Bean is a yarn company and I have actually been a part of their subscription box for a while. And I would say, I think it was last year, uh, like in Jan no, in March or April, they developed a line specifically for crocheters. So most boxes, uh, subscription boxes, will have a pattern for crocheters and a pattern for knitters and combined, right? So you get everything and you just pick which one you wanna do. Well, this one is specifically for crocheters and well, you know how I feel about that. Us crocheters need our own. So, let's see what's inside. I cut the tape already, and they're beautiful boxes. By the way, nice and hefty boxes. They're all different sizes, depending upon what the, the project is, and they're nice and sturdy. They look great, you know, the little yarn balls. So, definitely reuse, right? Reuse, reuse, reuse. We wanna recycle and reuse. Okay, so it came into this little plastic bag, very nice and neat, and this is now, a project bag bag and this is uh, let me see this is done by oh namaste so namaste does several different types of project bags this one's really cool it's a net plastic net with several of the top um, snaps on the top and what's nice about these is that when you're working on a project you can actually have the yarn coming through one of the the little holes and it will still keep your yarn ball inside which i really appreciate that because i'm of those that i like to put my yarn back into the project bag i'm working on and by being able to unsnap it you can do that so that is very exciting let's check this out so that bag and it's in red it's a nice color red too so the project oh it's one of three parts and it's going to be a market bag. So we get to do the uh, beginnings of the market bag. There's the bottom of it. And we're using, it's called Sugar Bush um, Cabot. And it looks like we're gonna have three colors by the time we're done with this. So these cards are great. I love these project cards. Just so happens I have another one I'm working on over here. And this was the July pattern. And this was just a one, one um, card project and this is a shawl and it came with all of the yarns with it and again it comes with these great cards they're great size very travel friendly uh, size card and this but this one's in three parts so this is going to be very exciting and here's the yarn and it's a rather thick one I would say this is probably a worsted weight what they do is they ball it up for you right and in the middle of the ball they always have a little piece of paper if you have multiple colors they'll actually have the name of each color that coordinates with the name code on the pattern so that you can match up your colors um, and this one's crochet club april 2019 sugar bush cabot by the lake oh by the lake so it's 70 percent pima cotton 30 percent linen oh i'm really excited so they do have um, different types of yarns, right? Primarily, I've experienced their wool yarns, but this time we have this cotton and linen, and it feels really nice. It feels kind of fun, and I'm, I'm really excited to do this. Now, mind you, just because you get a subscription box of yarn and it comes with a pattern doesn't mean you have to make that pattern. Heavens knows, I've done that several times where I'm like, yeah, you know when I see this yarn, that's not what I see I want it made out of it. And they turn it into something completely different. And that's okay, that's up to you, that's what you want. So I'm gonna put this back in my project bag because I already have now a project bag for this particular project. 
Now I need to get the rest of the little accoutrements that I always carry when I'm working on a project. But the other fun thing with Jimmy Beans is that they always send other little goodies, right? Uh, this is one that they send pretty often. This is, uh, it's called Handmade and it's for washing. It's by Soak, S-O-A-K. And it's for washing your yarn projects primarily because they are animal, they're not synthetics. So these help keep them nice and clean and they smell great. They all have different kinds of uh, scents. So very nice. They also have, for those of you that are uh, sensitive to scents, they do have an unscented, just so that you know, soap does have an unscented and it really is a great product. And, oh, I've got stitch markers and they sent me quite a bit. These are interesting kinds of stitch markers. Um, and they kind of look, they have like a safety pin. Let me see if I can, so that you can, <laughs> that you already know there's another one, but I don't know if you can see that. So there's like a safety pin head on it. And then the other side's kind of round and bulbous. So these are really great when it comes to stitch markers for uh, crochet. I really tend to like these. Uh, they're kind of fun. The one thing you really can't do very well with these is have charms on them. And I happen to like them looking pretty. But nonetheless, they're very functional. They're very nice and I love them. Thank you, Jimmy Bean. That was another one. And this, I'm very, very lucky. Usually maybe one, maybe two. Or one for sure, maybe two. But this time we got three. I'm gonna open this up. Nice little bag to keep it nice and clean. And we are going to throw that away. But look at this, it's like a little chain purse. And it's fully lined. Just pulling out the lining here. You know, it's fully lined in kind of a plastic, so that's nice. So whatever you keep in here, if, because this is like a canvas and it has whales. You guys, you know how I love the ocean. So this is super fabulous. I love it. So it can be a change purse. It could be a notions per, uh, purse pocket thing. Love it. So cute. This is going to be something I'm going to use. So great to keep your stitch markers in and other little knick-knacky things that you keep with you when you're crocheting. So I think I'm just gonna keep all of those together and make these one travel project. All right, that's our Jimmy Beans. Love Jimmy Bean. I will have unboxings of other uh, subscription boxes, but today is our Jimmy Bean. Thank you, Jimmy Bean. Love you guys. Let me tell you, their customer service is amazing. Uh, I have changed email accounts. I have, uh, at one point, I thought I was going to stop and I didn't stop and they were just wonderful. And when my husband, so when Monty, my husband, had his accident almost a year ago now, um, there was a lot of kerfuffle and a lot of things going on and they were very understanding when I'm like, yes, I'm going to stop. No, I'm not going to stop. And, really great customer service uh oh when they start because i've been waiting for it right oh my gosh i have to have this because i wanted to be on the crochet subscription box not just the general box which you can still do the general box is fabulous because it gives you all kinds of different uh yarns just like the crochet the only thing with the crochet is it's very specific to crochet and i that's what i wanted but i've been waiting for it right they announced it i was excited i'm like yes let's do this and then, I don't know, somehow something happened and I was on the waiting list. They never sent, or I at least never got the email. And I was full sad. But you know what? They made it up to me because it was just a month. I was just a month behind. They made it up to me. They got me the other box. Super sweet. Always there. Always helpful. Jimmy Bean, love you guys. So definitely something that I love. All right. Another product that I love and I have quite a collection now. Now these ladies are super fabulous. Talk about, and here we go again, just people with a heart for people, right? I know. This is Slip Stitch Studios and they are, okay, I, I secret, secret, secret. I have to admit, I opened it ahead. I couldn't help it, it was killing me. 
but I love their bags. These bags, check this out, okay? This is one of their newer sizes, and this is the Double Project Plus bag. And <laughs> my little surfer dudes. So for, for you guys, you know, my passions are not just crocheting, but my pupper dudes, uh, my veterans, and um, the ocean. I, I like adore the ocean, right? Uh, those are those are my passions that I secular passions, of course. Faith and family, always first. Faith, family, friends, and then my other stuff and, and kind of a list of stuff. But anyway, so this is the bag. I love it. Look how it has the gusseted bottom. So it really is a great bag. Now that it's open, I can't wait to start using it. I have the perfect project to put in here. And on the inside, here's the lining. This is a great nifty little tool. So it's a snap. You could put your yarn through that. And it's a yarn guide. So you can have, you know, like when you have those really large skeins, you can have a yarn guide there and you have it on the other side as well. So you could have two different yarns and they won't get intertwined or, or tangled because you have these yarn guides, which is great. Or you can use these to clip your keys, I, you know, whatever is easier for you. It has multiple pick pockets on the inside with my puppers and um, it is, and, and also with just the lining also, they're really good. This is, like I said, uh, their Project Plus size and it has this, and it's not open like that guys. I have a thing, I don't like bags that stay open uh, because things tip over and they fall. Uh, I'll tell you what, so took my dad to the coast last weekend. He hasn't seen the coast in Oregon and it's gorgeous, right? So long story short, I know too late. I have hooks on the seat, the headrests of my car where I hang my purse when I'm driving. Well, I wasn't driving, my husband was driving and I always sit daddy in the front so he can see where we're going because we're usually taking him somewhere he hasn't been. And I hang this from the hook and I just crocheted away. I, it's another bag I had, but I crocheted away. And it's great because again, those yarn guides, everything stays nice and neat and tidy in here. And I can just close it up, put it in my trunk and um, not have to worry about it. But isn't that a gorgeous bag? But wait, there's more. Yes, I know you're going really another one. I have a thing for bags, guys. I really do. I have a thing for bags. And these are just so well made. Things don't pop through it. So I haven't tried these before and these are called yarn socks. I'm really excited. Uh, I've been using smaller skeins so and winding my own skeins of, of yarn into balls. So this really is going to work out great if I can figure out how to open it. Okay, so in the name, that's going to be thrown away too. In the name, and pretend this is a skein of yarn, see, and it goes around your skein and it keeps the skein from unraveling while you're working on it. Isn't that great? And isn't that cute? And it's, it's kind of stretchy so it can stretch out. This one has sharks on it. The other cool thing is that you can put a carabiner through here and clip it to a bag or whatever. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Um, I've got to tell you guys, so in my passion for uh, the ocean, we Shark Week is like sacred in this house. My daughter loves Shark Week, so we will be having some fun with Shark Week. And I now have a yarn fork with sharks on it. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. And this is like, as you can see from Slip Stitch Studios, this is their yarn sock. So I'm very, very excited. So, okay. This one, this is their Notions bag. Uh, and I love this, um, a prickly pussy. And it, look at the lining, and this is great. See the gusset opens up again on this one. And I have several of these. So when I am out um, working on projects and things, I always have a Notions bag, and my Notions bags carry specific items that I carry with every single project. And we're gonna get into those. What do, what do you carry in your project bag? I'd like to know. Um, but this is this is great and my so my youngest daughter who does a lot of the video editing and stuff like that cat you've seen her um, she loves cats she has a cat princess I think we've seen we've met her right big fluffy thing uh, and she loves cats and she loves succulents so it's okay it's not maybe a succulent it's a cactus but close enough cat cactus succulent, we got it 
So I got this for her and I know she's gonna love it. And she's really into makeup. Uh, so she, you know, it's a great bag for makeup. But the great thing with these Notions bags is they're a uh, thicker, they're a thicker lining, more so than the, ba the this bag itself. This is just like two layers. They actually have a lining inside or a, um, yeah, like a middle lining. So that pokey thing, so your needles won't, won't necessarily go through as easily. Thin, small lace hooks won't go through. Uh, your scissors won't necessarily poke through so easily. So it'll keep things safe in your bags. It'll keep things safe as you're traveling around. It's great for artists. They, they're a great size. Again, the gusset helps it stand up. Um, it's a great size for artists who draw, paint, you know, just about anything. Guys, this is, this is great. My daughter, she's gonna be so happy she can finally get it. I have another shipment coming in from them. Yes, so May has some special stuff and we'll talk about that, but Slip Stitch Studios. And all of this information is going to be down below in the, des in the description. Definitely check them out. I love these ladies. They, again, super helpful, super kind. Um, anytime I've needed help, questions or whatnot, They've always been there, and so I say yay to that. Go check them out, super fun. All right, that's Lipstick Studios. Now this has really nothing but it does do with crochet, and this is K-Bottles. So this is a K-Bottle, Q-U-E, um, good. And I love these bottles. They support our environment. These happen to be a special edition for the coral reefs. And if you look at the lid, I don't know if you can see that, there's a, there's a sea turtle on the front. Yeah, that totally sold me. So these are water bottles, and there's actually water in here because I've been drinking. So believe it or not, this has water in it. Kind of handy because I'm really thirsty. But <clears throat> this has water, it's a, it's a medical grade silicone. As you saw, it extends out and you can scrunch it up. And the reason I wanted this is because it's, if I don't have liquid in it, right? It fits great in my, in my bags and I can put liquid in it and they stretch it out. It has liquid in it now, but I mean, if I want more, I can put more water in it and I have a very handy, lightweight, um, I wouldn't say indestructible, but you know, pretty, pretty, you know, if it falls, it's not gonna dent and look gross like some of the other water bottles are. And in the summer, it's not going to get hot in my hand, so where it burns, except for maybe the lid might get a little hot, but I mean, it's easier to cover that up so it doesn't uh, get burnt than the whole bottle, okay? So I don't know, I think this is great. I ordered one um, and this is, like I said, a special edition. They only did 500 of these and it's for our coral reefs, so they are environmentally conscious. And I just thought it was great. So this, they sent me this card about uh, the 2018 annual report on our coral reefs. So I'm going to be reading on that. Um, it's part of the, the, some of the proceeds went to the Coral Reef Alliance. So I thought that was really great. And this was great. Here's my name. And it's just a very simple little card, but I thought this was really sweet. It said, thank you for your support and making a contribution to rest, restore and protect our coral reefs. Okay, bottle team. And this was handwritten by them. I thought that was really nice. I mean, it's just one more step out of their way. Very plain cards, as you can see. Uh, but I made me happy that, that they acknowledged that I did that. Um, and I did it for a selfish reason. I love the coral reef. I want it to stay around. And I love the bottle and the sea turtle. So there you go. All right, so that's just my little plug for them. The other thing that I wanted to kind of do an unveiling for is from Joann's. Yes, and Joann's is fabulous. So I never want to say, no, no, Joann's, no, no, Michael's, no, no, Hobby Lobby, no more, no, no, any of these big box brands that you have out there because they have their place and they help us out so much in so many ways with so many things that we need. But this was really kind of cool. I love magazines. I, I get a lot of crochet magazines because I like patterns. I have more patterns than I have days in my life, okay? Even if I had started at birth, I could not crochet everything that I have now. It's a little insane. But that doesn't stop me from collecting more. And so this past weekend, Rhonda had come up with her daughter, Megan, and uh, her wife, uh, 
Jill, sorry Jill. Anyway, they had come up and she wanted to go over to Joanne's to buy a book on mandala, crochet mandalas. She had give, actually given her book to her mom. So she needed a new book. I'm like, okay, hurt me, right? Twist my arm, ow, 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 let's go. So we did. And I was looking at the magazines and I came across this magazine, Crochet Now. Now this is not a US magazine. This is actually a British magazine. Uh, so when you are and see how it says it's uh, UK's number one crochet magazine But I was really excited to see this because it really gives us another perspective another look at what other people are doing And if you see these flags, that's because that's all the stuff Rhonda wants so I have to scan these and send it to her uh, But this is you know, I just thought it was so cool that they that they have you know We have this magazine here and this was over at Joann's. I thought the sweater was really cool uh, Great, great patterns, uh, great perspectives. Obviously, that's really adorable, the little bunny jacket for a baby. Uh, it's really great stuff. They had a lot of patterns in here, and I thought it was really interesting. Now, one thing you have to be careful with with the UK patterns is that their um, patterns are written differently from ours, and it's not a huge difference, but it's significant. For instance, when they say a double crochet, for the UK, it's actually a single crochet for us. So that's, you know, you kind of need to know what those are because otherwise, you know, what's supposed to be maybe this big is going to be this big, right? Right, Elizabeth? This is Elizabeth, by the way. You didn't know I have Elizabeth. She, um, she carries some interesting things on her and we'll talk about her later. But anyway, right, Elizabeth? Anyway. Really a lot of fun. Go to Joann's, check it out. They had another magazine there that I'm going to be checking out here soon. And I think I'm going to actually subscribe to it. You can subscribe to it here in the U.S. It's interesting to see what kind of yarns they have, and you can order those. A lot of those, they ship out of the U.K. as well. But again, remember, when you're ordering from out of the States, it does take longer. So bear that in mind. There is a conversion for the money. They have pounds or euros, and we have dollars. So those are all things that you need to weigh out, but a lot of fun and it was really cool because this magazine also came with some doodly dads that you can make. So this had cards, these cards and stickers and they already had, and they came with these, this yarn, see this yarn, so you can make these little doodly dads, see? So like the bananas back here and, and the lemon and the cactus. In the magazine, there's actually a pattern for how to make uh, these like greeting cards and birthday cards and um, you know bananas about you, happy birthday, sending birthday wishes. So you can make birthday cards with crocheted accents. I thought it was a great idea. What fun. Guess what I'm going to do for next month. Yes, whoever has a birthday in the month of May, from my family and friends is going to be getting one of these because I think they're just that much fun. So we're gonna play with those, but yeah, that came in. So this is the, the bag it came in, right? It came in with that. I thought that was super fun and I loved it. But that's great. Yes. More in the sense of I got more stuff. They are having a sale, they're having quite a big of sale and they have this Bernat Blanket Breezy. So I got four of these puppies. Uh, this is, it seems kind of thin. I'm not used to this kind of a fluffy um, yarn being being this this thin. I just thought it was kind of fun, even though they're calling it a medium weight four. So that has me a little thrown off, but that's gonna be interesting. I, I'm really excited. I wanna make myself kind of like a beachy blanket because it's 100% acrylic. So it should wash up pretty well in the washing machine. Um, yeah, washer and dryer, no ironing. Hmm, sorry. Uh, but I think this would be great, you know, like a blanket to go to the beach, go to the park, that kind of thing. So I'm really excited about that. And then I found this. Uh, it was two something a yard, you know, pretty, basically almost $3 a yard. Um, a yard, what am I saying? $3 a skein. This is the Red Heart Super Saver. I know this is a worsted weight, it's a four. Um, they call it Americana, and I think I'm going to go back and get some more for various reasons, but the biggest reason is for my yarn of worse for vets. 
uh, we make crocheted blankets and uh, pet mats and hats and scarves for veterans no matter where they are if they need it we get it to them so I thought this was fabulous for them and for any other of my patriotic stuff that I do so I thought I'd do that um, and here we go the cream the resistance when it comes to and actually it should be a resistance the French roller cars in the back of the throat front but anyway um I had to get this it was a moral imperative check this out guys my new traveling yarn bag and you're going but Sandra it's just a yarn bag first off hello it's blue okay I have a thing for blue 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 all shades of blue love my blue blue uh, it's very pretty pattern of course it had it had ocean waves it would have made it virtually perfect but yeah, me in the ocean, what can I tell you? Uh, but it has this great Velcro large pocket up front. There's some more of the yarn that I bought. It has pockets inside for crochet hooks, knitting needles. Uh, it has really just great space in here. But the thing in the zipper, right? It has this thing that will keep the, snap the handles together to keep them together. But I'm telling you, I'm actually, my one of my goals for this year is to do a little more travel, a lot more traveling than I've done in the past. So I think this is gonna become my carry-on. And guess what? Yes, it has an extendable handle because it has wheels. It has wheels. Guys, it has wheels. All right, this may not be as exciting to you as it is to me. Um, I hurt my back pretty badly and I was on the road to recovery until what I just found out that I have a partially torn meniscus, a partially torn ACL, don't ask me what that means, but it's in my knee. Uh, apparently there's some sort of bone spur and why should I say I'm not a spring chicken anymore? So arthritis is going to start kicking in because I have an injury. So I just found this, I just did an MRI last week, got the results, they had needed one more x-ray, did that. And now May 9th, I am going to go into the orthopedic doctor to find out what we're going to do. But in light of that, that means that walking and carrying stuff isn't a great idea. There's a reason why my parents named me, didn't name me Grace, and now even more so. So that whole extendable handle and I could pull it along with me because I am not going to let this or my back or anything else stop me from my plans, right? We can't do that. We got to keep moving forward. So, okay, I can't do it like I used to do it. We find a new way to do it. It's just how it is. So, yes, very excited. I had a coupon. So, if you don't know, in uh, Joann's and Michael's, both of them, I don't know about Hobby Lobby or any of the other uh, big box stores but they have an app those two have an app and in that app you can get coupons right store coupons I had a 60% off coupon for this guy so that was amazing and I got it very excited had tons of fun of course anytime Ron and I go yarn shopping game set and match just get out of the way because we're on a roll uh, we're like Thelma and Louise we have a great time so that's it that's my unboxing for this week i hope you enjoyed it it was a lot of fun i am going to put all of those links for these great these uh, three great stores so jimmy beans slip stitch studios and k bottles uh, in the description down below you know the k bottles they're great water bottles and they help support our environment which is something that we we need to be conscientious of i'm trying to do my best and um, i hope we all are in some small way working on that. Uh, Slip Stitch Studios, lovely bunch of people. They're out of California and they are fabulous. So I'll tell the story about the other bags that I'm getting when I get those. And of course, um, Jimmy Beans Wolves. And Jimmy Beans is so much fun. Lots of great yarn in there. So if you're interested, really subscription boxes are a great way to learn about other yarns. 
you know, and textures. And sometimes you might come across one and you're like, I cannot play with this. I don't like the texture of it. It doesn't feel good in my hands. You know, we all have different choices that we make. So definitely you want to check them out, but they're a lot of fun. So all of that information is going to be down below. If you haven't already, I'd let, please subscribe and uh, hit that little bell because that'll let you know when the next video comes out. Come on over to my Facebook page and let me know what's your favorite yarn store. Is it a local yarn store? Is it a big box? Uh, or is it something that you found online? Let us know. There's so many great places and who knows? Somebody might be looking for what you've got out there. All right, well, everybody, have a great evening. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next week again with our next installment. But for now, keep, so keep on stitching, and talk to you soon. This is Skipper Sandra, signing off.